Hi guys, this is Amar and welcome to Amar Tech Stuff. So guys, in this video, we're going to focus on a lab that is router on stick lab and we're going to do this lab on Cisco packet tracer. So what I've done is, uh, this is the lab which you're seeing on your screen right now. I have a router, a switch, a PC and a server and this uh, PC is in VLAN 10 and this server is in VLAN 20. Why do we need router on stick? So whenever we need to achieve communication between VLAN, that is inter VLAN routing or inter VLAN communication we need to achieve, at that time we will need to configure router on stick. So step by step, what are configuration steps we can go. So the very first step is to create VLAN 10, 20 on switch and verify the same. So what I'll do is I'll just open this switch. So this is the switch and first of all what we'll do is first of all we'll check how many uh, VLANs we have in the switch. So you can find out there are no configured VLAN, this VLAN, VLAN 1 and the rest of the VLAN, these are the pre-configured VLAN or the already present VLAN on the switch. So we need to configure VLAN 10 and 20 on the switch and verify the same. So let us configure it. So VLAN 10. I'll give a name to this VLAN, let's say VLAN 10 itself. So let's configure VLAN 20. I'll give name to this VLAN, VLAN 20. So these are the two VLANs which I have configured. Let's verify, show VLAN brief. So you can see guys, I've configured these two VLANs and I've verified it. But you can see guys, there are no interfaces in that. So we need to also configure the interfaces. So let's let's see which all interfaces we need to configure in step number two. Uh, step number two says configure interface fast ethernet zero slash two as member of VLAN 10. That is uh, this interface, this interface. Okay, so this interface we need to configure in VLAN 10 and uh, this interface that is VLAN uh, 20 need to be configured on this interface that is fast ethernet 0 slash 3. So let's configure it. So this is my switch fast ethernet 0 slash 2 first of all. I'll configure interface fast ethernet 0 slash 2 switch port mode access. I'll make this port an access port. So whenever I make a port as an access port, that port is a member of only one VLAN. And in this case, it will be VLAN 10. Right. Now I need to do the same stuff for interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 3 and uh, switch port mode access. But here it will be member of VLAN. 20 so this will be switch port mode access VLAN 20 let's verify the same show VLAN brief so guys here you can see that uh, in VLAN 10 now the fast ethernet 0 slash 2's entry is present that is fast ethernet 0 slash 2 is member of VLAN 10 and fast ethernet 0 slash 3 is member of VLAN 20 and these are the access port do remember that now step number three configure fast ethernet 0 slash 1 that is this particular interface this interface now this interface we need to configure as a trunk because this is going to carry traffic of vlan 10 and 20 because the communication between vlan 10 and vlan 20 is going to happen through this router so if vlan 10 want to communicate this pc want to communicate with server then the traffic is going to go via this switch over this trunk link to router and from router back to the switch and than to the server. So this particularly link should be a trunk. Trunk link is a link which is going to carry traffic of multiple VLANs. So we need to configure as a trunk. So let's configure it as a trunk first of all. So what I'll do is I'll go in the on the switch itself and the interface is fast Ethernet 0 slash 1. So I'll do it. Config the interface fast ethernet 0 slash 1 I'll do no shirt for that and switch port mode trunk okay, so I've configured that port as trunk now still the link is down so we need to make this link also up uh, let's do the next step that is step number 4 configure interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 and sub interfaces on router now here guys if you see carefully 
that this router is going to have this interface okay this is only one interface but you will see your sub interfaces so when do we use sub interfaces on router whenever we want whenever that interface have multiple subnets so here we have like multiple subnets this subnet and this subnet this subnet belongs to vlan 10 and this subnet belongs to vlan 20 okay so likewise we need to also configure the sub interface that is fast ethernet 0 slash 0 dot 10 so this is for vlan 10 and dot 20 this is for vlan 20 so likely uh, we need to configure it so let's configure this i'll show you how to configure the interface and then the sub interface of that particular interface so let's do it so so guys this is the router now the interface is fast ethernet 0 slash 0 so i'll just go into configuration mode fast ethernet 0 slash 0 the link is down here you can say it is red so i'll just do no shut so once i do no shut it is green now this is the configuration I need to do on fast Ethernet 0 slash 0. The other configuration which I need to do is on the sub interface. So I'll do that configuration on sub interface. I'll create a sub interface. Let's say fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 dot 10. So I'll give it dot 10. So this is a sub interface created. Now I'll try to give it the IP address. Now here you will see one, one thing that why I'm not able to configure the IP address. Let's see. So the IP address I need to configure is 192.168.10.1 to 55.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.
and I just configure the default gateway which was pending 192 168 10.1 so I've configured it it's fine if you want to body verify it I'll go in IP config and you can verify the same you can verify the same over here so this all the three things we configured now let's do the configurational stuff for server I'll go on desktop IP config and here the IP address I need to configure is 192.168.20.100 and the default gateway will be 192.168.20.1 which is the IP address of the sub interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 dot 20 on the router so this also we have configured now let's check the inter vlan routing so inter vlan routing is a routing between vlans so this is in vlan 10 and this is in vlan 20 now let's check whether we are able to ping the server from the pc so the server ip is just note down over here ping 192.168.20.1 so see guys here that we are able to ping so this is how we configure inter VLAN routing or the routing between VLANs you can practice on the packet tracer and you may try for three VLANs or four VLANs and and you can try so this is what I want to show you in this particular video of uh, Cisco Packet Tracer. I'll come up with more videos on uh, Cisco Packet Tracer. And guys, if you really feel that this videos of Cisco Packet Tracer are useful for you, so please do like this video, comment on this video so that I will come up with more videos on Cisco Packet Tracer as well. So guys, I'll stop here. I'll catch up with the next video. Till then, bye, thanks, and subscribe to my channel on my text of and take care. Thank you.